Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Here we're going to be talking about five ways to make your creations feel more polished and give the end user a better experience. Now where this is coming from is I recently held a build challenge on my Discord server. I was assessing over 30 submissions and with that I took notes of some of the things that would make the creation feel more polished and make it more enjoyable for everyone to use. So with that in mind, let's begin. So the first item is do a final walkthrough and check that all your systems are working and everything is properly connected. Now there's nothing that beats a good old fashioned walkthrough and inspection of everything on the ship and sometimes it can be very rigorous especially after you've spent so many hours building a particular creation but there's just no substitution for trying to manually explore and make sure everything is connected everything's working right because chances are if you find an issue others are going to find the issue as well and if you don't do this you're going to have others reporting all sorts of things when they come and they'll be like oh this isn't working this isn't working so you just have to go take a look at every single room turn on every single light and make sure everything is working obviously in the bridge this is definitely more of a demanding task since you have so many systems in place potentially you'll have all sorts of stuff but you just have to sit and work it through and make sure all your things are connected and everything is working properly so that is the first thing it may take a while you may have to do it in multiple turns i'd suggest keeping a list as you go of everything you note know that isn't working but yes this is probably the most important thing of all and you'll have to do it inside the actual game because try assessing this this makes no sense. If you're looking at it through the logic point of view, it's a mess. It's a nightmare of things and connections. Even in smaller creations, it always looks like this. So just a good old fashioned walkthrough will work. The next item is to inspect the creation and all of its paintable surfaces to make sure that there are no mistakes. So for example, it's very easy, especially when you're painting something very large to have little paint issues, you wanna go through and correct them. Now these are sometimes things you can catch in your first person mode when you're walking around the actual ship itself, but sometimes you could just come in 3D viewer and take a look and make sure everything is properly connected. So that would definitely clean up the creations, make them feel more polished and give an overall better experience especially since it shows that you took the time to make it that much more better and uh, realistic so that is definitely something that I recommend everyone does sometimes this can be fun I wouldn't say it's a daunting task it just uh, depending on how big your creation is it may take some time but it's also you going through and enjoying what you've built so you've built something and now you're admiring it so nothing wrong with that that would be item number two check your paintable surfaces and make sure everything looks nice and is properly painted the next item is to make sure every button has text and correct spelling now it may seem obvious to some but in the case where people either forget or don't do a walkthrough this feels so unpolished if you're looking at this and you don't know what this does and just like you have this push button now I have no idea what it does what it works it just will make your creation feel unpolished it'll be difficult to use people are going to be asking you questions so I highly recommend spell checking and labeling everything like look at this underlift mag alls and then here you have all sorts of op so push button push button like it, it I mean this is obviously created for this video so I would never upload something like this but if I ever do make sure you tell me and make sure you smack me in the head 
because and also this you want descriptive things not just light out in my actual creation it's called tow mechanism light and here spotlights no i call this rear spotlights because and this thing circuit breaker this is for the whole mechanism if you turn this off nothing should work I think it controls the winches so you definitely want to make sure that everything is labeled properly and also works correctly but in this item we're talking about the labels make sure they're all labeled make sure they are proper spelling unless you're obviously joking in which case that's fine but you know grammar counts and spelling counts so that is item number three item four is your lights so I would recommend making your lights turn on automatically when you enter a space. In the case of public areas and things like that, you could use the player sensor and you don't have to have them on if there is uh, AI inside. But if it is you walking in, it makes it so much easier because imagine it's nighttime, you don't see anything, you don't want to be struggling. Now, the only exception that I make is bedrooms. I always put light switches in the bedrooms but any public space and hallway should have automatic lights. And even still, I do have sort of red glowing lights throughout the whole ship, just to make sure everyone knows and can see where they're going, even if the main lights are off. But obviously you get to choose what you want and what works best for you. I would recommend automatic lights um, or a very logical place because there's nothing worse than using a creation for the first time and having to use a flashlight to find out where this light switch is and you're looking around and I wouldn't call it enjoyable and you definitely miss a lot of the creation now you know if it's daylight it's not so bad but still you definitely want to put them in logical places and that will just help your creation feel that much more polished and thought out when someone is using it. The last item on the list is Upload a beta version for others to check and troubleshoot if you don't want to do a final walkthrough or even in addition to your final walkthrough, it can make it that much more polished and better for end users if you release a preliminary version. Make sure it's obvious that it's preliminary. Um, I've had a lot of people on my Discord server actually release their creations for just uh, privately for the users in my Discord server to use to test out to comment to let the let the creator know whether it is working for them and if it's working then they go ahead and make a final upload for everyone to enjoy and if not they go ahead and fix it so i do like that system i've also i'm also doing it in my own creations where i'm having uh little bits of um beta testing for for example for my new uh automotive shop the buckle dealership i'm having beta testing where people are giving recommendations and suggestions and vice versa for other creators i go and test theirs or look at them and comment and give ideas so it's a it's a two-way street whichever discord server or location you do it with or with your friends it is nice to bounce ideas off of one another and sort of get things going and working in especially in ways that you may not necessarily see for yourself so I do recommend that and I always think that's a good idea so that finishes off five ways to make your creations feel more polished I hope you enjoyed the video maybe learn something maybe not but regardless hope you like the video hope you give it a thumbs up put a comment join my discord server join the community all that good stuff. I appreciate all the viewers. I appreciate everyone of my fans and everyone that is in the community. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for more. Happy Stormworksing everyone.